Welcome back to Lego Access. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 most expensive Lego minifigures that have ever been produced at all. So we're going to go through all of these and surprise surprise Star Wars is coming out quite a lot. So let's start. So we have got the solid silver C-3PO. So this Star Wars Lego minifigure was given away as a prize at the Star Wars Celebration, the fourth exclusive contest. It was crafted, it was crafted out of sterling steel and it cost $34,485.95. So roughly £35,000 near there. So that is the first one. We've also got a 2018 Platinum R2-D2 that cost $33,440. It gave two of the five minifigures as part of a contest. They are obviously expensive because they were made from platinum and the exclusive of the characters. In the 2012 New York Toy Fair, Captain America was released and it actually cost about $2,000. There are only 275 minifigures of this Captain America figure in New York in 2012 and also there was an Iron Man as well that cost about the exactly the same amount £2,000 and the helmet design is printed directly on the head unlike the later version so that makes it more it makes it that it costs more so the characteristics on this is that the shield that Bucky holds is much flatter and smaller circles than the final releases the Iron Man minifigure has a printer face which is a classic minifigure star the faces on these two Lego minifigures are more serious looking. The Captain America minifigure was not the Steve Rogers version, it was the Bucky Barnes version. So that is why these ones are more expensive. Now we've got another C3PO, the 14K Gold C3PO. This is very, very, very expensive. It could be anywhere from 30,000 to 300,000. It's made from a pure 14K gold, which was produced as a contest giveaway of Lego magazine. There are only five Gold C3 figures, mega figures made, and one of these reached a 300,000 bid on eBay. So it really is very expensive. The wooden Woo prop is worth 104,500 and was made exclusively for the movie, the Lego and Ninjago movie. Only four of these minifigures are in existence, and one belongs to Simon Lucas, who is a famous creator of. Lego Ninjago, so yeah, it matches with Sensei Wu the Wooden Wu. The orange prototype C3PO, another C3PO character in 1999, was introduced into the famous famous Lego Star Wars range, and it was an orange prototype C3PO that was there for when they were starting the prototypes and figuring out how to do C3PO. If you find that figure, it is between three thousand and five thousand. You've got an 18k white gold R2D2 that can cost up to $40,000, which was given as a prize in the contest for Millennium Falcon Black VIP card holders. The minifigure was placed in an Eric Luke case. A certificate of authenticity was also provided with this rare Lego minifigure, making it one of the most expensive Lego minifigures in the world. You've also got the George Lucas prototype. The George Lucas prototype Lego minifigure is rare, so it's worth between 2,500 to 5,000. It was displayed at the Star Wars weekend celebration in 2010 at Disney. Only a few of these Lego minifigures were made, and they reportedly sold for $5,000 on eBay. So you also have the San Diego Comic Con Spider-Man. It released in 2013. That is between. 1,900 to 3,500. It's one of the rarest Lego minifigures because of its red legs. This was also given away in a raffle. So one of literally the most rare Lego figures were the Roman gods Juno and Jupiter and Galloway um, Lego minifigures are worth 2.2 billion. They are almost they are literally impossible to get. As in 2011, these Lego minifigures were sent to Jupiter as part of an educational outreach program via the Juno spacecraft. It was in collaboration with Lego and NASA. Scientists are hoping to, that by studying Jupiter, they have a better understanding of how the Earth was formed. So they were actually made out of space-grade aluminium for NASA to survive the highly radioactive and gaseous planet Jupiter. 
Of course the price is too much because you have to go to space to find these LEGO minifigures. The cost to make these is roughly $5,000 and there's a duplicate of the true as confirmed by LEGO. However, the whereabouts of the duplicates are unknown. So if you can find them, then that would be really, really cool. But right now, somewhere in space is these ones. Now, probably the most valuable LEGO figure of all time was a gold reproduction of the Bounty Hunter Boba Fett from the original Star Wars trilogy. It is the most expensive LEGO minifigure ever made. Only two of these were produced by LEGO in 2010. The figure is made of solid 14 karat gold and valued at 11 1495 a piece are uh, each part of a box set of three, also including silver and plastic versions of Boba Fett. These two sets were given away at a competition prize in San Diego Comic Con and the celebration of the Star Star Wars Festival, both held in 2010. The Lego minifigure range was launched in 2010 and they consisted of a range of 4cm high figurine models or movie characters, are, as well as prominent people from sport history and culture. So that is one of the most expensive ones ever made the Boba Fett gold reproduction so to conclude it's no secret that Lego minifigures are expensive because everyone loves a Lego minifigures it's not necessarily because it's made of Lego it's because what the Lego represents like if it's Star Wars you might really like Star Wars if it's Harry Potter you might really like Star Wars but it's clear to see that some of these figures sell from it quite a lot now one of the ones that you'll be like oh why is this not on there Probably Goldman, that was released in one of the first Lego minifigures one. It's actually not that expensive, it's quite common, 200 of them are released, so it's not as sought after as these ones here. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and please go on my discussion and put any comments you would like to. Now, I also want to thank everyone because this channel has been doing so well recently. We have gone above a thousand one hundred views currently as of the time of recording this that is insane we've got one video that's on 130 views another video that is on 60 views that could easily catch up in the same time period i'm really happy with the way this channel is going i'm uploading every single day to make sure to stay tuned road to 50 subscribers by the end of the quarantine time hope you have a good easter so i'll see you in the next one bye